Hello, good people. Spot of Nerd here with Sweet Mother of God. Do we have to talk about the official time of death of the Star Wars universe, Lucasfilm, everything in between? Because, Sweet Mother of God, we have just had the release of the first two episodes from the latest in Disney Star Wars, The Acolyte. <laughs> to give you just a brief summary of some of the things that we'll be talking about in this episode, imagine if Disney basically made an HR video, you know, about how Tiffany's dress is just a little too short. The cringe. I am quite impressed. Your company has really gotten aggressive about wanting our business. I like that. As soon as we finalize the terms, I think we've got a deal. Everyone agree? Yeah. Thanks a lot, Greg. Okay, thank you. All right. Jennifer, if you've got a minute, I'd like to go over the paperwork. Oh, sure. So, you think it was a good plan? Yeah, as I said, I was quite impressed. Good, I was hoping you would be. I think we all were. Well, I mean you in particular. What do you mean? Well, you don't think I'd offer that kind of plan for anybody, do you? You're special, Jen. Oh, really? And you know what else? I think we should start talking about putting a plan together just for the two of us. It's hysterically tragic. Not to mention, the entire thing is filmed in front of a blue screen. And my god, the level of wokeness. I didn't even think you could go that far. But then Disney was like, hold my beer. Seriously, people, The Last Jedi is truly one of the worst pieces of Star Wars garbage that has ever existed. The Acolyte takes the cake by a thousand miles. Now... Before we get started, obviously I'll spoil it a little bit if you give two shits. Ultimately though, I do want to take a quick moment, pause, and send a huge thanks. Believe it or not, Furiosa, the review we did here a couple episodes back, has just surpassed over a thousand views and it is officially my second video to pop a thousand views. So I am eternally grateful for everybody that is watching and everybody that is commenting. I said this before in the recent episode, some of y'all are quite unique and it is hilarious. You know, I'll give you an A for effort for the trolling, but you really need to try harder because the bigotry is there, sure, the slander is there, the clowning is there, but you just make yourself look not the brightest tool in the shed, if you get my drift. So keep them coming, but all jokes aside, I super appreciate everybody's support for Furiosa and beyond. Like, hopefully you'll be checking this out too, and Lord only knows what I'll get from this as well. Also, very quickly, usual suspects, if you would be ever so kind, I would love you all. If you haven't already, because there's many of you that haven't, go ahead, hit that subscribe button right down below. Give me the thumbs up, like, comment. And just like we did in the last episode, I am throwing it out into the world. If you want to join in, if you'd love to join this channel, do a collaboration, podcast, whatever it might be, I would love it. Let's get to it. This is going to be very brief. We don't really need to talk a lot about the absolute shit show that the Acolyte is. First and foremost as well, apparently, so there's only been two episodes released. Rumor mill has it, the next couple episodes are apparently going to redesign, reconfigure the entire Star Wars universe and essentially make quote unquote the force female. Now, interesting if you do that because the lore, the fan base, the entire story of Star Wars, what? the fuck are you actually trying to do here? Just when you thought that Disney was like, hey, I wonder how we can get rid of as many people as we possibly can from watching this, you know, Star Wars in general. How else can we get the remaining people to stop watching? This is it. The Acolyte is 
it. Like I said in the beginning, the level of wokeness, the level of agenda and politics that is in this show, they don't even, it's, they don't even care to hide this shit, people. It is like, wow. I've got to be careful, of course, when we're talking about some of these things, but ultimately what it comes down to is there is nothing Star Wars about this at all. <laughs> Number one, this show was created and filmed, what, four or five years ago? And we're only now getting it released. As in, quite frankly, why did you wait so long? And the rumor mill speculation has, because ultimately we are now seeing why they only released official reviews for like the, the big time media people on day one of the release of this show, which depending on when you're watching this was a couple days ago, but wow. It is fucking terrible. And I seriously, broken record moment, spot of nerd. Any HR video you've seen at your job that is just cringe as hell to watch because clearly they're taking actors that have never acted before and they're putting them in a scene and it's just, it is so cringe. Like when this bad, the, the twin, one of the twins is basically trying to fight one of the Jedis. I want you to attack me. Wow. Just fucking wow. The visuals, I mean, it literally, one of my favorite shows as a kid back in the 1980s was called Thunderbirds Are Go. It looks like that. It looks like somebody's holding a puppet with a spaceship on it. And then there's a background that, you know, the dude, the Ross guy painted the little picture and there's a ship hanging on some strings. This show apparently cost nearly $200 million to make. Holy shit. Like, wow. So many, I've said this a bazillion times on this channel. So much hip here that I would love to get out here. One of my personal favorite parts, spoiler here, is the crawl in the first episode as if they're trying to bring a little nostalgia to you if you are one of the original Star Wars fans. <laughs> Um, first off, did you mean to do that, Lucasfilm, or was that on purpose? Because let me show you right here, right now, just how easy it is to actually do a Star Wars crawl, and you can do it for free if you have Final Cut Pro. Check it out. Do you see how easy that was? But no, 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 in the Acolyte, we're just gonna put it on the screen like one page and just tell you a little bit about what this show is supposed to be about. Another one of my personal favorites, and if you haven't caught on to the sarcasm of just the level of bullshit that this show is, my personal favorite is one of the most unique things that I have ever seen in Star Wars is a Jedi committing suicide. You heard me right, people. In the second episode, you have a Jedi legitimately taking some kind of poison because obviously maybe they've done something bad that we will probably never find out what, and then they die. So apparently this dude is meditating for like 10 years the evil sister is trying to kill him, but it's all, this, this Jedi is all super powerful. He's meditating in the air, and all it takes is for her to go, Hey, I've got some poison here for you. You should kill yourself. And he's like, yeah, I should do that. And then he drinks it and he dies. What? You're going to hear this many times throughout this episode. What the actual fuck? I'm genuinely shocked on how bad this show really is. Look at the director. The director has very close ties to Weinstein himself. And if you're not familiar with Weinstein, you should look him up because quite frankly, he's done enough damage in the world and he's got enough powerful people that he's been able to bypass any sort of repercussions. It's quite disgusting, but at the same time, it's Disney. So we're not really surprised because let's be honest, I, so many things I wanna say, but you know I gotta be careful. Broken record, again. I just have to say, like, what the fuck were they thinking? 
when they made this. And I almost think this was done on purpose. I really, really do. The Last Jedi, you can go back on this channel. I made like I think one or two reviews on it. The Last Jedi was the start. It was the first shot into what made Star Wars basically dismantle itself, made it made it garbage, if you ask me. And I love it because every time somebody tries to debate me about Star Wars The Last Jedi, I simply ask them one thing and one thing only. And I would encourage you, if you are that person that really defends The Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker drinking milk from a tit, explain the significance to that. Please, I beg of you, tell me the significance to anything in relation to Star Wars, in relation to sci-fi, in relation to anything at all, why that was necessary. Why was that necessary? And then lo and behold, hold my beer, the acolyte comes along and introduces us to something we have never seen before in Star Wars. What we are seeing with the acolyte is a purposeful destruction of your own franchise. It is a purposeful, basically middle finger to any remaining last Star Wars fan out there. We are officially giving you the middle finger. Fuck your Star Wars. It's now ours and we're going to destroy every last piece of it. They've done it to many others. Look at Doctor Who. Look at, I'll even say even Star Trek is bleeding out. It's still kind of there, but it's bled out. Transformers was done. Indiana Jones is obviously done. So many other things have been destroyed by today's, you know, by basically by today's politics, by today's agendas, everything else in between. And this is the pinnacle. I know I mean, I say these things repeatedly just to get it across that this is all by design. This is all on purpose. And it it blows my mind because at the end of the day, somebody out there, these writers, these producers, Disney themselves, they are literally green lighting this crap and they know it's crap. You you cannot tell me that they are not sitting there going, this is seriously just some of the most horrific shit we have ever produced and made, but we, we're going to do it. We're going to put it out there anyway. I mean, it is phenomenally, there's not enough words. I don't even know what the right words to describe just how bad that this show really, really is. And we've only had two episodes done. It is over. So yeah, what are your thoughts? Have you seen it yet? I would love, this is going to be such a great comment section if we can just get the communication going. What are your thoughts on it? Did you think it was the greatest thing since sliced bread? Do you think it's the most amazing Star Wars that you've ever seen? Let me know. You cannot tell me that this doesn't remind you of not only the CW, but also the fact that 98% of this is probably filmed in front of a blue screen. And at the end, it, it just is, it's so, the acting is, it's, you remember when you went into high school and you, you know, maybe they did a play or maybe they did some sort of theater. It's, it's worse than that. It really, really is worse than that. Even some of the gimmicks, like, the droid thing that she has her little handheld palm pilot droid because apparently you didn't have a budget to make a real droid i what what oh and my personal favorite too you know one of my personal favorites first episode where she's outside of the ship fixing the ship and there's a fire because fire can survive in space does anybody even like when you're who, the writers of the show, does anybody ever actually do any research of what happens with fire and there's no oxygen around? It doesn't, I mean, literally a, a four-year-old could tell you that that doesn't make sense. Now, albeit this is fiction and it's Star Wars, but just, wow. Okay, I think you've gotten the point of how I feel towards this new show, The Acolyte. And quite frankly, I don't know. I really don't know if I'm going to continue to watch this. Just for the fact that even during the second episode, I was so bored. That's probably the last piece I'll say, and then we'll wrap this episode up. It is, oh my god. It's one of those shows where within five minutes, if you're still awake, you're picking up your phone and you're just randomly scrolling through shit because the storyline is so dull. It is so boring. You do not give any shits about the story, about the characters, about what is happening around you. All you care about is, man, I wonder what tomorrow's all about. Oh, it looks like I got a dentist appointment or something. I don't know how we got here. I mean... 
let's be honest, I know depending on who you are, everybody has their own interpretation. How we got to this level with Star Wars. One word, Disney, that's all you need to know. What just truly, just being real with you here for a moment, what really does break my heart is the fact that they know they are purposely driving everybody away. The fans, any Star Wars fanatic, blah, 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 blah. They are purposely driving them away. And for reasons unbeknownst to me, with Doctor Who, it was, we want to bring an entire new group of fans in there. But you realize that your fan base is what drives your success. I've said this many times before, regardless of what we're talking about. We're the ones buying the toys, the merchandise. We're the ones that are spreading the word of joy of how epic your story is or your characters are. With this, not only am I not hearing, I'm, I'm borderline hearing crickets out in the world, but I'm not hearing anything positive because the ones that are giving positive reviews on this are being paid and there is absolutely no doubt about it. So with all of that said, again, huge, huge, huge thanks to everybody for watching. And trust me, folks. I know this is a doozy, but you know, if you've seen it, you know, you know. But until next time, folks, we will see you guys next time. Later, y'all. I mean, I, I was, I'm literally thinking to myself, like, okay, what am I going to put at the end credit scene? I mean, I've already said what I've needed to say through this episode, but, you know, it's just, it's... I can't even, you can't even joke almost about this because it's this, that, it's this tragic, the Acolyte. It is this tragic on how horrible that this fucking series is. And it's only been two episodes, people. Two episodes. I almost want you to go see it just so you can see what I'm talking about. And if you can't, like, maybe you don't have a Disney Plus account or whatever it is, but like, go read a synopsis about what it's about. And trust me, you will see exactly what we are referring to on just the tragicness that's the best word i can think about it right now is the tragicness that this show is because it is everything that star wars is not